The day is finally here and I wanted to say thanks to all the fans again. Seeing your messages and your responses to the film has made it all worth it. For those of you who stayed up uh, all night in the U.S. to watch and to fans getting up early this morning to watch in Europe and Asia, I heard that we might have overloaded a few of the platforms and uh, with your interest. So, uh, but that truly means the world to me. Um, we're working on that, um, so stay tuned. Uh, you guys are the best, and thanks again. Let's do you destroy the world? And how many dead eyes can you look into before you die inside yourself? What is good YouTube, War Stu here. So I've been sent to this video. Zack Snyder confirmed Ryan Reynolds as Green Lantern in Snyder Cut role and plans. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. So I did some background checking and spoke to some sources and stuff and found out exactly what was supposed to be going on with the Green Lantern. But already from the said article from THR and he appeared on a stream, you already know that this wasn't the case. Now let's actually read what was said. The director spoke to THR about the long awaited film, right? And he spoke about, did he consider Ryan Reynolds? And this is where people were starting to clickbait you. So what he said was, there was another idea I had for the Green Lantern that wasn't Ryan. However, he still would have found a way to include the former big screen Hal. I thought that if we had went down this path for Green Lantern, I would have had to have Ryan as an additional Lantern Slider concluded. But that's a different story. So yo, what is good YouTube? War Stew here. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. Check us out on Instagram at War Stew, Twitter, War Stew G. Let's get into the video. So, as I've just read out here, you can clearly see Ryan Reynolds was not Zack Snyder's. He was not Zack Snyder's. He was not Zack Snyder's Green Lantern. He was never going to be Hal Jordan. Now, we know why there wasn't a Green Lantern really in this movie. It was supposed to be Jon Stewart. At the end, it was not supposed to be Martian Manhunter. It's because of this HBO Max Green Lantern TV series that makes no sense because this isn't canon. It's not canon, so why would it matter? But I keep getting sent to this video. It's confirmed. Green Lantern. It's confirmed to be Ryan Reynolds. No. Did you even listen to what Zack Snyder said? He did not say, yes, I'm going to confirm that Ryan Reynolds was actually my Hal Jordan in the Snyder Cut. No, no, he didn't say that. He didn't ever say that. In fact, there was actually a Jon Stewart Green Lantern scene that was filmed, but it got took out. It got cut. So there was a compromise. There was compromise in this movie. Zack Snyder himself has said the compromisation was Martian Manhunter, which don't get me wrong. Martian Manhunter is decent, but he's no Green Lantern. So that clears that up hopefully for you guys now i know grace randolph has come out and said she was right she was right but zach also said came out and said he told no one that this plan he also never spoke to anyone about it he did not speak to ryan reynolds himself so this never happened this is like having an idea that you never tell anyone so cool if people wanted to guess sure and i'm sure ryan reynolds is a cool guy i'm pretty sure he would have been up to do a cameo role for sure he kept trolling it he kept promoting it to be fair he promoted it probably more than anyone but yeah there was never actually a role on the table for him. Zach never gave him, Zach never, like, here's the contract, sign it, let's get it going. He was never actually gonna be in this movie. So please stop telling me that Zack Snyder confirms Ryan Reynolds as a Green Lantern. It's worded very carefully, but no, he it would have been a cameo role context. It was never, he was never gonna be how Jordan at all. So, also in the news, what's interesting is there's multiple websites, multiple sources claiming that HBO Max wanna do Justice League 2 and 3. I wonder why. Even critics are coming out and saying it's better than the first one. Now, I know you guys don't care about Rotten Tomatoes score, but the critic score is 76% at the time of recording this. But guess what? What was you? Really, really was you? Tell me. Studios care about the Rotten Tomatoes score. They really do. And the audience score is over 95% as of the time of recording this video. And Rotten Tomatoes have changed their way how they do it. So it's not being bombarded and stuff. So it's a more accurate way of a metric of seeing if people did like this movie. So the critics love this movie although critics are very subjective let's be honest although it is pretty hard to become a rotten tomato critic so the credentials aren't exactly easy but in terms of getting press credentials that's not not exactly hard so yeah critics love it the fans love it and apparently hbo max wants to continue this series why do you think Zack snyder added this nightmare scene into the movie yeah yeah let, let's just you know comment down below right now why did Zack snyder add the nightmare scene into this movie with amber Heard? yeah i, I wonder why and joe manganella deathstroke i wonder why 
try. And Zach's come out and said um, he'd, he'd be up for, you know, returning. Never say never. I don't know. Like, and Deborah Snyder, Deborah Snyder has, has basically come out and said the same. Wait and see. And, you know, restore the Snyderverse. Even Warner Bros. has been trending. Josh Sweden has been trending. War Stew's not been trending. I'm saying that to see if you're listening to what I'm saying. Literally everything's been trending. Dark Side, Steppenwolf, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Literally everything to do with this movie has been trending over the last few days since it dropped Thursday morning. And it, as of the time of recording this, it's Saturday night. So it's very interesting where this can go. And I do believe, and there is information I'm hearing from inside sources, and very good sources telling me that, yes, there will be Justice League 2 and Justice League 3, and Joe Manganiello is going to feature in the Batman series. And yes, there will be Man of Steel 2 in some kind of variants, which is nothing new because I've been telling you guys this for like the last six months that if this movie does well, there will be studio heads, uh, HBO Max and AT&T, one another one. Now, we obviously can't see the metrics from inside HBO Max analytics, but we can see the HBO Max and HBO Go crashed. We can see that. So that's a good indication. I've never noticed or never been alerted or never read of any Disney Plus, any Netflix release crashing the servers. I've heard of servers going up and down, but I've never heard of an actual release crashing it within two hours of said movie or TV show being up. So it's actually a massive one that the servers will crash multiple times and people were struggling to get in there. So the fact that the Justice League producers, Deborah and Zach are saying, yeah, we'll come back. Of course, they're not going to say, yeah, we've signed the NDA and uh, yeah, 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 we can't tell you what's coming. Guys, there definitely will be something coming. Even John Campia, even people like that. Every critic I know, I chat to a lot of movie reviewer YouTubers and all of them, they didn't say it's the greatest thing I've ever watched in my life, but they did say it was a much compelling, a better story than the original one. And why the hell would Warner Bros. put out the original one when this was sitting there? Yes, I know VFX was there, but VFX could have been done if Zack was given time when he returned to work. And this movie probably could have been released much earlier if Zack knew the option was there, for sure. So if this movie doesn't get greenlit, if we don't get GL2 and GL3 and the Batman, Joe Manganiello, Gerard Leto series, then it will be a shame. Henry Cavill came out and supported it and saying, well done, Zack, it's such a better movie and I'm glad you got it. And we got Gerard Leto coming out saying his word. And then we got Ray Fisher, but Ray Fisher always says stuff. So it'd be pretty cool to see if Ben Affleck says anything, if Jason Momoa says anything, if Gal Gadot say anything, but I presume it's all political with their social medias and they're only allowed to say certain things at certain times. I, I, it's probably not even them controlling their own social medias. If I'm, being, if I'm being honest, it probably isn't. So guys, just remember, Ryan Reynolds wasn't going to be Hal Jordan and he wasn't Zack Snyder's Green Lantern like a bunch of YouTube videos are trying to make out and say, oh, Grace was right. No, Grace guessed. That was a guess. And uh, uh, some little Twitter scoopers also said the same thing. But no, Zack literally said it was an idea that he told no one. So if you guessed it, you guessed it. But it's cool the directors are open for stuff, but we know they're open for stuff. We know that Zack absolutely loves being in this DC universe with the fandom, with the Snyderverse that he's built up. So restore the Snyderverse. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at WarStew, Twitter, or WarStewG, and I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later.